I'm Mihaela Gemlin. Today I am in London at the National Gallery and I'm going to share with you my top 10 favorites. Let's get started! At number 10, Paolo Veronese, The Adoration of the Kings. A ray of light illuminates Christ the Child, held by Virgin Mary. In bright colors, with aristocratic elegance, the kings, the angels, Joseph and the shepherds are in adoration. The stable is built in Roman ruin, symbolizing the triumph of Christianity over the pagans. At number 9, Velázquez, the toilet of Venus. Venus is reclining on a bed, backing us, while she's looking in the mirror held by a Cupid, the protector of love. Even if she's turned away, we can see her face. The mirror shows the reflection, suggesting that she is observing herself. The composition mainly uses shades of red, white and grey, which are used even in Venus skin. At number 8, Jean-Baptiste Camille Corot, the four times of the day. Corot painted these four panels in a single week, representing different moments of the same day. Each scene traces the changing light in the sky. The golden glow of the morning turns into the brightness of noon, to the blue light of the evening, and finally to a starry night. At number 7, Canaletto, the Basin of San Marco Accession Day. This painting shows the annual festival that symbolizes the marriage of Venice with the sea, which is taking place for more than 1,000 years. The Dodge is leaving the palace. His golden gondola can be seen in the crowd. He will go out in the sea and throw a gold ring in the Adriatic so that Venice will continue to dominate the trade market and be prosperous. At number 6, Paul Cezanne, the grounds of Chateau Noir. The Chateau Noir was a rambling house set on extensive ground, where the artist painted some of the finest landscape of his last years. In this dramatic view of the rocky ridge, Above the house, entangled branches and foliage form a screen nearly obscuring the sky. A dove of orange placed at the center of the canvas lends vibrancy to the greens of tree. At number 5, Michelangelo, the Manchester Madonna. You know you are one of the masters when you are unfinished work is shown in a museum as prestigious as this. This unfinished painting is one of Michelangelo's work. The Virgin Mary is holding a book, while Christ, portrayed here as a child, is pointing to a text. The angels on the right side are studying a scroll, likely given to them by John the Baptist. At number 4, Rembrandt, Belshazzar Fist. Interrupting the king's party, a divine hand appeared and wrote on the wall a cryptic text that declared the end of Babylon. The king is scared, the guests are terrified, the gestures are uncontrolled, and the wine is spilled on the tables. History tells us that on the same night, Babylon fell to Media Persia. In the number three spot, Vincent van Gogh, Sunflowers. The painting was intended to decorate the room that was set aside for Gauguin at the Yellow House. The build-up texture of the sunflowers creates dimension, from the full blooming bright to melancholic. Color yellow is associated with hope, enthusiasm and friendship. 
Van Gogh suggests that the flower are a symbol of gratitude. Coming in at number two, Leonardo da Vinci, the Virgin of the Rocks. Christ child, it's on the right with an angel by his side, blessing his infant cousin, John the Baptist. John turns to Jesus, folding his hand in prayer and holding a symbolic cross. The Virgin Mary is the image of beauty surrounded by an ideal landscape. She connects the two children by holding the hand above her son in a protective gesture while touching John's shoulder. Coming in at the top spot, Claude Monet, the Gare Saint Lazare. This is one of the 12 series that Monet painted on the spot. Two steam trains are in the station while the passengers are going down. It is a perfect portrait of what the modern industrial era meant. A bright day with pure sunlight, clouds of steam, busy people going in and out, dynamic style in hues of grey. So there you have it, my top 10 paintings from the National Gallery in London. Make sure you watch my London vlogs, give this video a like and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye!